Hello everyone and welcome back to another Arabic lesson. This is lesson number nine. So today we have three more letters to learn and the first one is the letter Fa. This is how we write it. It's a loop with a curve and a dot. So this is the letter Fa. The pronunciation is Fa. It's like the English F. F. So, with different alamat tashkil, we would say F, Fu, Fi, F, Fu, Fi. So, how would you write that? In a word. Let's see. So, at the beginning of the word, you go with a curve, with a loop, sorry, and you add a dot, and you connect it to whatever comes next. In the middle of the word, you have something coming from the front, then you loop and connect. At the end of the word, you have something coming from the front, you go, you loop, you have the curve, and you have the dot. So this is the letter FA. Nothing fancy, it's really simple. And the pronunciation is simple too. So, let's go to the next letter, which is not so trivial. The letter's name is Qaf. And it looks like this. Kind of like the fa, but with two dots, and the curve goes below the line. Now, the pronunciation is a bit hard. It's qa. Not ka, it's qa. There's a difference, and I'll show it to you um, later in this video. So, let's go and say it in with different alamat tashkil. It would be Q, 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 Q. So, how would you write that in a word? Let's see. In the beginning of the word, you would have it like the fa, a curve, uh, a loop with a curve but two dots on top. In the middle of the word, it would be something coming from the front, you loop, and you have two dots on top. In the end of the word, you have something coming from the front, you go, you loop, you go below the line with a curve, and you have two dots. So this is the letter Qaf, the pronunciation is Qa. Now, let's go to the next letter, which sounds a bit um, close to this letter, but you have to distinguish between them when you say it, because there is a big difference. Now, the next one is a letter that you saw before in the first lesson. It's the letter Ka. So the the name is calf, the pronunciation is ka. It's like the English K. And with different alamat tashkil it would be ka, ku, ki, nothing fancy. Ka, ku, ki, very simple. Now how would you write it in a word? Let's see. The normal way to write this letter would be something like this. A straight line, a curve like this, then you connect to whatever comes back behind. There's actually different ways to write this um, letter depending on what comes next, but this way works with 
everything. The next, uh, okay, so in the middle of the word we have something connected to the front. Then, here's here's two ways to write it. You can go with the same way you did with the front of the word. So go stick, curve. Make sure you connect it to the to the line coming from the front and continue. Another way is to have something in front, then you go just have a stick like this, go down, continue, and afterwards you would add this oops, this line like that. Although I prefer the, the first one, the second one is also correct. So in the end of the word you would have something connecting from the front, then you write the normal shape of the letter and that like in the alphabet. Another way to write that which people usually do when they're handwriting is instead of the shape which is called Hamza, they just have a swirl, you know. So this is the letter calf. Now I'll just tell you very um, what's the difference between the qa and ka very very fast I'm just going to emphasize the fact that you have to pronounce these letters correctly because if you pronounce it not good then they're saying something different I'll give you an example well if I say This is um, this is a verb that uh, a tense of the verb where you order someone. So um, the meaning of the word "qul" is "say," as if you're telling someone to say something. So you tell him "qul." Now, if you say "qul," which looks like this. Well, you, when you say kul instead of kul, you're saying eat. You're telling, you're ordering someone to eat. So there's a big difference when you say kul, which means say something, and kul, which means eat. So just to emphasize the, the, the importance of pronouncing these letters correctly. Now, um, I'm going to have lessons where I distinguish between different letters in the alphabet and what happens if you pronounce one not correctly. Anyway, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, fast recap, we today we learned the letter fa, fa, qaf, which, which is and calf, which is ka. Thank you for watching the video and see you soon.